Hello students, welcome to Top Scholars. Students, today we are going to discuss about an interesting topic and that is circuit diagrams. So let's start with your first topic that is a circuit diagram. Now what do you mean exactly by a circuit diagram? A circuit diagram is nothing but a path consisting of a wire, some resistance, electric bulbs with a switch and a battery connected to them. For example, if you observe here, there's a battery. The batteries are connected to the bulb with the help of a wire. And because of that, the current flows and this entire phenomena or this entire system is called as a circuit diagram. Now students, for example, if you'll observe here, can you see here, this is nothing but a schematic sketch of a circuit diagram, which consists of a battery. Battery is nothing but the source of the current supply. A switch. Switch is a device which helps to regulate the current. Like if you want to use the current, we can switch it on. Or if you don't want to use, you can switch it off. And there's a lamp. The lamp behaves as a resistor. So this is nothing but a simple circuit diagram. Okay, students. So now let's talk more about a circuit diagram. Students, if you'll observe here, can you see here when the switch is on, the bulb glows. But... As soon as, suppose, if I'll turn off the switch, the bulb switched off. So basically, in short, you can call it as when the switch is on. That is, the switch is closed. On means the switch is closed. Or when the switch is off, that is, the switch is open. So when the switch is closed, the circuit gets complete. And when the switch is open, the circuit is incomplete. And if the circuit is complete, the bulb glows. And if the circuit is incomplete, the bulb turns off. So now let's talk about the components used in a circuit diagram. So basically, when you'll consider, there are symbols representing the circuit diagram. For example, if you see here, this is nothing but a closed switch. What I just told you, what is a closed switch? That the circuit is on. The second component is the open switch. That means the circuit is off. The third component is the battery. That is nothing but the main source of supply. And the fourth one is a resistor. A resistor is a device which regulates the flow of current. And then we can talk about a cell. See students, there is a simple difference between a cell and a battery. Cell is nothing but a single source of supply. But if I am connecting n number of cells that entire system is called as a battery okay and then you can call it as a bulb a bulb is nothing but another type of a resistor and the last that is the connecting wires so basically these seven are the components used in a circuit diagrams okay to learn more about this topic download top scholars app